When we see patients that come with valvular heart disease, coronary disease, and atrial fibrillation, they often manifest with some degree of heart failure. And is that heart failure solely directed to the primary pathology? More than likely, yes. And sometimes the majority of the component of those symptoms that are atrial fibrillation related. So when one addresses the atrial fibrillation at the time of surgery through a Cox Maze 4 procedure, and you uh, exclude or eliminate the left atrial appendage from circulation. Not only do you get more physiologic function, of course, with restoration of sinus rhythm, which has been so shown countlessly over the course of the last decade that these patients do much better acutely and long term. You have patients coming back to your office compared to ones that have never received a surgical ablation, radically different, have no heart failure symptoms. For the first time in their lives, they are ambulating well and you know they're basically your restorative in their physiology and in our program we uh, don't anticoagulate patients albeit somewhat within the guideline framework our patients without anticoagulation they come back and they're they're new and they uh, they're so appreciative and then you see it long term because it's very important to follow these patients and in that follow-up at the six month mark nine month mark 12 months and up to five years I follow every single one personally and you see their evolution in their lives, and that's a major impact.